Hey, what's going on, Virgos? Butch Tarot here. Um, gonna do your two week read, or for the remainder of March. Uh, it is a general read. Uh, it will not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. If you haven't already, um, and you like this, feel free to subscribe, hit that like button. Uh, always feel free to comment down below. So let's get it. What do we have for Virgos for the next two weeks? What's going on with the Virgos? What's going on for Virgos for the remainder of March? All right, Virgos. So the first thing I see is I see that you have a decision to make. There's going to be a decision before you. And I feel like it's going to be one of those decisions where it's going to be hard to make. You know, and I feel like a cross between we got the five of cups looking at the negatives instead of the positives but I feel like the, like I said I feel like the decision that you need to make is is options I feel like you have you know these options that you need to explore and one you need to move forward with now with that, I, I have that you're struggling with this. I feel like it's a hard choice. You know, I feel like it's it's taken a lot out of you because it is such a hard choice. It's not it's not cut and dry. You know, sometimes we have choices that are easy to make and they're just hard to, you know, move forward with. But this, I feel like it's just a hard decision all around. Like, I feel like you're weighing your options. Like I said with that Two of Pentacles. Weighing your options. Now, in those decisions that you need to make, I feel like one decision is, we got some Taurus energy, but I feel like it's more about stability. You know, one of your options is staying in a situation where you do have stability. Um, you know, it's, it, it's logical for you to stay. You know, and I, and I feel like you know, like like I said, I feel like it's a logical decision. Like one of your decisions is lot is all about logic. It's not about love. Yeah, it's more about uh, consistency, stability. You know, it, it's a lot. It, you're, you're looking at it as 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 logical. It makes sense. But I feel like in that situation, the person that you're dealing with, they have their walls up. Emotionally, they're not letting you in. Emotionally, they may even be shutting you out. You know, maybe maybe there was something there, but it, you know, and I have as well the King of Swords. So not a lot of forward movement there. I, I, I don't feel like that's gonna get better. Now, with this other option, you know, I feel like, obviously, you feel like you may lose some stability. You know, you may, you, it's not necessarily doesn't seem as, sta as st stable as a situation, this other person. But this other person, I feel like, um, 
they bring balance. You know, not only do they bring, you know, I feel like it's not as stable, but it's still, there's still stability there. But there's also love. So it's all about balance with that Sagittarius energy. So like I said, I mean, there's two choices here. One is stable, um, keeping pro quo. But with that, walls are up. Emotionally, there's no attachment. And I, it, it's not going to get any better. The other option, like I said, you know, it may be the way you're looking at it. And, and like I said, with the negatives instead of the positives, you're looking at it as not as stable or you're not sure about how stable it really is. But like I said, we have that Sagittarius energy, that temperance card. There's more balance in this. You know, there's more building a foundation with this. More for, for movement with this. You know, and, and what is it? What I'm getting from all this, basically, is you need to be strong. Make the right choice. That's the best choice for you. Trust your intuition. If you're looking for love, if you're looking for, um, you know, a partnership, we're gonna. That's how you're gonna make this this choice easier. Because one hand, it's more of a partnership. But on the other hand, the other the other situation is about love. And it's something that can build into a partner, you know, a partnership. But I feel like, you know, I, I don't feel like your stability is going to be hurt much here with this new option. Like I said, start to see this in a different light. We've got Pisces energy. Um, you know, and I, and I feel like the option that you need to take here is clear. I feel like you already know which way you want to go. And that's the way you should go, the way you want to go. Don't base your decisions on stability um, solely. You know, you just got to take a step back and realize, do you want something that's all about stability and, not, and, and there's no real love there? Or do you want a chance at both? And I know it's going to be a tough choice. Like I said, with that internal struggle, it's a tough choice. But the universe is telling me you need to take a leap of faith. You know, I feel like this other opportunity that brings stability, that's going to be that's going to be where you want to be. Because not only is this, you know, I feel like it can be stable. I feel like it's not, basically it's not as, as stable as of yet. And you're not really sure about the stability because you don't know. And it's all about the unknown here. But with this, this other person... We got the Emperor card. You know, they know what they want. Um, they want to be with you. They want to make you happy. And the stability there will come. I feel like, it, you know, not trusting your intuitions here. Um, you know, trusting your intuition here is going to be paramount. Not trusting, you know, I feel like there's going to be some decisions made um, that aren't regarding the best for your future. Now, like I said, I don't feel like with this first option, it, it, it's all about stability, but their walls are up emotionally. And I don't feel like it's going to change. But with this other person, like I said, I feel like there's, you know, it will grow. It can grow. But what they have, what they have right off the start, the emotional connection is already going to be there. You're going to already have the emotions. Stability is going to be worked on because, like I said, I do see you building a foundation here with the four wands. So that will come. Have faith. And you will get what you want. I feel like deep down you know exactly what you want. I know that stability isn't everything to you. You know, that's pretty clear in these cards. You know, it it, it it comes down to picking love or a comfort. You know, right now you're in a comfortable situation. Um, emotionally, there's no real connection. But stability-wise, it's comfortable. 
And, you know, it, it, it's all about making that choice. And you have the choice to make here. But like I said, I think, you know, from what the Two of Swords tells me, is it's all about the right choice is right in front of you. You know what you want to do. Once this, this, this happens, like I said, I feel like the, the second person is going to come along in the next two weeks. Um, and that's what's going to change, start, you know, this whole trying to make that decision. But I, I feel like you're going to know exactly what you want to do. And you're going to have to follow that. That's my advice is to follow your intuition. Take that leap of faith. Yes, maybe this new person isn't as stable. But I feel like love-wise, there's love there. And it's only going to grow. You know, this person isn't... They know what they want. And like I said... You're going to have to make a decision for what you want. If you want love. If you want growth. This new person. You know. The, the fool card is pretty clear. Um, if you're happy with how the situation is. Um, and you're not. You don't. You're not worried about whether the person. The situation that you're dealing with. You know. That situation that you feel comfortable in. If you're not worried about. Whether or not love's going to grow. Because I don't feel like a whole lot of love coming from that. I feel like it's it's more of a... Like I said, it's more of a, a partnership. So that's the choices you have here. But the universe is telling me that you need... You know, to take that leap of faith. Go, go towards this balanced person. You know, this person is all about balance. Uh, love and stability. Um, and it will get there. It's going to grow. You have growth here. You have opportunity to grow here. But like I said, it's free will. Trust your intuition. Um, you know, sometimes we're in a situation where we feel comfortable and we're stable. And we sacrifice love for that stability. Now, that's what you're getting in the first situation with the first person. The second person you're getting... The, the opportunity to be more. Um, so that's what I have for you, Virgo. Be good. Take care.